hey beautiful people welcome back to my channel my name is grace gigi before i go into today's video i have an announcement to make ladies and gentlemen this channel my channel our channel has hit a hundred subscribers <laughs> you guys are so amazing i just want to quickly say thank you for watching my videos giving me feedback leaving comments and even sharing i really appreciate it you guys are the real mvps thank you for rocking with me right into today's video i'm going to be talking about ways you can find or define your personal style before i get into what personal style is and ways you can find or define your personal style i would like to run through some definitions let's start with fashion what is fashion there's so many definitions out there but for the sake of this video let's go with fashion is basically dressing up in clothing in outfits that bring out the best of your body type moving on to the next definition i would like us to quickly run through a style what is style style is expressing yourself through fashion that's basically what style is fashion and style are not the same thing but they go hand in hand fashion is ephemeral which means it changes so fast it doesn't last long while style isn't ephemeral style always remains the same at its core so style involves the way you like to wear your hair the way you like to dress the way you talk the kind of makeup you like all those things make up your style which makes you fashionable now when we talk about style we have so many types of style out there we have boho bohemian retro gothic you have professional business casual you have um, preppy unconventional you have all sorts but as people we can't have all these styles yes sometimes we switch it up we try to include this and that but style always remains the same at its core it evolves yes but it will always remain the same at its core so now that we've gotten those two definitions out of the way let's go right into personal style what is personal style it's simply what it is it's personal and it's your style it's your identity it's a form of self-expression it's it's deeper than we think because it is how we feel on the inside that is translated to, on the outside so what we wear even though we might not be so conscious of it is automatically saying this is who i am this is how i feel and this is what i stand for so that is what personal style is all about finding your style makes you comfortable you become super confident because you're wearing things you're in clothing that you feel your best in you're very comfortable and once you feel that way automatically you become very confident and that for me is basically what fashion and style should be about it should be about comfort first i'm going to run through five or six tips on how to find or define your personal style and the first tip i'd like us to start with is personality what kind of personality do you have this plays a huge role in defining your personal style some people are bold some are shy and reserved conservative like me and that plays into my personal style because i'm reserved and conservative shy kind of <laughs> i don't like clothes that are attention grabbing i don't like clothes that are clingy i like t-shirts i like big um tops and because of the kind of body type I have, I'm also top head. So I tend to go for clothes that are a little bit bigger than my actual size. I can say that my personal style is casual, easygoing, sometimes edgy. So when you know your personality, you know the kind of person that you are, it automatically draws you to the kind of clothing that you wear. Let's move on to step number two, colors. What colors are you naturally drawn to? What colors do you gravitate towards? Do you like bold colors or you like the neutral? When you realize the kind of colors that you're easily drawn to, this helps you define your style because when you walk into a store, you automatically know the section I'm going to. So you're saving time and energy when you're going shopping because you already know what you're looking for. Tip number three, what kind of looks are you drawn to? Some of us have people, or maybe all of us have people that we look up to and be like, oh, I like her style, or oh, I like his style. So the people that we draw inspiration from, what kind of vibes do their style give off? This helps us to know the kind of things that we're drawn to. When you can pinpoint it, you've started streamlining, you've started defining what your personal style is. Now let's move on to tip number four, I believe. Yes, 
So on days that you dress up and you feel super comfortable, you're feeling super chic, flat. Now that's it. You've started nailing it. I would urge you to maybe take pictures because you need to document these things. Remember, you're trying to define your style. So on days like that, just take pictures. You would always refer to that. That's it's, that serves as an insight, a reference point for you when you're going shopping. So that's very important. Tip number five, signature piece. So what is that piece or what are those pieces in your wardrobe that you always wear? Now that's your signature piece. It could be chunky accessories. It could be rings. It could be sunglasses. It could be crisp white shirts. Something that you're always known for that when they say, oh, Grace, I saw Grace today. She was wearing, the next person can just easily say, I bet she was wearing a black t-shirt with inscriptions on it. So that's my signature. Always see me with t-shirts, mostly black, that have inscriptions on it, not tight fitted and boyfriend jeans. That's my signature look. Someone like Anna Wintour, she's always the, the big shades, looking serious. Um, Adele, who loves to rock the little black dress. So this helps us to know the kind of things that we're drawn to. Let's move on to another tip, which would be the common pieces in your closet. So when you open your closet, what are those common pieces? Are they blazers? t-shirts what are those common things you normally wear this helps you which leads me to my next um, tip win out the odd clothing so the next tip is odd clothing goes out you know how you have a closet full of clothes and you're always lamenting i have nothing to wear because your wardrobe is filled with items that do not suit your personal style so you have to see through and it feels like it's taking so long and you just get frustrated now i'm not saying that personal style restricts you you can up it up a bit but you all like i said style always remains the same at its core so with these tips bring them all together knowing your personality the colors that you gravitate towards people that inspire you what about their style inspires you major items common pieces and the odd clothing out when you bring all these things together you have defined your style you now know what works and what doesn't work and also bear in mind that your personal style has to work for your body type i think i'll do a separate video on that um dressing up for your body type and your skin tone so you guys should please watch out for that video if i asked you now what your personal style is what would you say do you know i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you in my next one bye